So we've done a few upper body stretches, but most everybody's main complaint is the neck, the neck and the shoulders. So how do we get into stretching the neck and the shoulders when just traditional stretching, bending, bending, rotating, isn't doing it? Well, what I like to personally do is kind of take gravity and the rest of my body out of the equation and just focus on my neck. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sit down for this. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the old trusty chair here. And quite honestly, it doesn't matter what type of chair that you have. As long as when you're in a seated position, you can get your hand underneath of the chair. So if it's just like a tree stump or something, this exercise probably isn't going to work out. So when you're in a seated position, what you want to do is make sure that your spine is nice and straight. And all you got to do is think there's a little marionette string pulling you straight up to the ceiling. And that way, you're going to be nice and straight instead of our usual rounded shoulder position. Okay? So when we're nice and straight, all I have to do is hook my hand underneath of the seat. And you can do this on both sides so it doesn't matter which side that you start with. Unless you have one side that's obviously the problem, you want to start on that side. Hook underneath of the chair. Nice straight spine. All that I'm going to do, whatever hand is under the chair, I'm going to lean the opposite direction that. Start at the top of the head and then lean the torso as well because right here, whew, that's where I get a huge stretch when I'm going over to the left. And again, this is what you're going to see. This is what you're going to see. And just like this. So when we're in this position and I'm leaning over, I definitely know where the tightness of the rubber band is preventing me from leaning further. So when I'm right here, breathe into this tension that you feel, and then, yeah. Just think that this ear is falling to the ground. You don't have to try to reach and crank for it. You just want to allow the relaxation to happen. And then, when it feels like you've got a big enough stretch going on, here's how you get the front and the back of the neck as well as the side. When you're leaning over, rotate so very slowly. So it's like you're drawing a line in the sand with your eyes right next to your body. So I keep my ear next to my shoulder, and I'm just slowly looking down like I'm drawing right past. And if I can look behind me, awesome! If your range of motion prevents you from doing that, don't worry about it. It's okay. You'll get to it. So when I'm rotated down, I'm still leaning, still pinned underneath of the chair, and then I slowly rotate my nose and my chin with my eyes looking up like I'm following the tracks of the ceiling. And I just rotate because everything when you rotate up is going to get the front side of the neck here. Everything when you slowly rotate downward, past neutral, whoo, right there is where I feel everything in the back side, all the way into the shoulder and realistically all the way down to my wrist because of the hook underneath. Now, I've just done one side. I definitely want to make sure to do the other. I lean the opposite direction. Whew, apparently that's my tight side. I just want to breathe right into the collarbone, right into the side of the neck where it feels tight. And you see how my torso isn't moving a whole lot on this side? My neck isn't moving a whole lot. Here again, I'm going to Inhale and then exhale, slowly start that rotation. Whew, I can feel that right behind the ear. Now with this stuff, all that you want to do is make sure that your eyes are the ones that are leading as well as your nose. Because if you just lead with the eyes and not the nose, you're not really going to go anywhere. But if you keep going, tilting that nose upward, whew, feel everything stretch right in the front, right through here. Good. And when I feel that super zing spot start to be present again, I'm just going to hang out there, okay? Again, breathe.
breathe into the tension. slowly come back. If it starts to feel like you have numbness into your forearm, numbness into the side of the neck especially, stop what you're doing, go back to neutral, pick it up again another time. Okay?